Some people will believe, some people won't. And to tell you the truth, I don't really care. One of the biggest unanswered questions. Who created Bitcoin? Virtual currency. Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been solved or has it? In this video, we'll be exploring the unknown creator of the world's first and largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. In our last video on Bitcoin, we talked about the birth of Bitcoin. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to go through it to get a better understanding of Satoshi Nakamoto. The link is in the description below. Going back in history. 14 years ago, an unknown individual or group of people, using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, created a new form of digital currency that would change the financial world forever. That is, Bitcoin. It's a decentralized form of currency that operates on a revolutionary technology called blockchain. This technology allows secure and transparent transactions without the need for a central authority, making it free from government control and manipulation. Over the years, we have seen a steady increase in the number of Bitcoin users and more recently, institutional investors have begun to take notice of this digital currency. This has led to a significant increase in the price of Bitcoin, with the cryptocurrency reaching an all-time high of $69,000 in 2021. The potential of Bitcoin to replace fiat currency is also being discussed. With its decentralized nature, it could be a viable alternative to traditional currency. As we continue to uncover the secrets of Bitcoin and its mysterious creator, one thing is certain. This digital currency has sparked a financial revolution and has changed the way we think about money. But the question on everyone's mind is, who is behind this revolutionary technology? Who is the person responsible for creating Bitcoin? Is it a single individual or a group of people? Well, some believe Satoshi Nakamoto could be a group of people, while others believe it to be a single person. The true identity of the creator of Bitcoin remains a mystery, and the search for the real Satoshi Nakamoto is a topic of much speculation. Let's dive deeper into the world of Bitcoin and the search for the real Satoshi Nakamoto. In the early 2000s, the idea of digital currencies began to gain traction. However, these currencies were centralized, meaning that they were controlled by a single entity, such as a bank or government. This centralization made them vulnerable to hacking and fraud, and many people began to look for a better solution. And that's where Satoshi Nakamoto comes in. In 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto purchased the domain Bitcoin.org. This would become the website where Bitcoin information would be published, and where the community would come to learn about the new digital currency. Satoshi's decision to purchase the domain was the first step in the creation of a new kind of currency, one that would be decentralized and not controlled by any single entity. On October 31st, 2008, Satoshi published a white paper on the Bitcoin website titled, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. This document outlined the technical details of how Bitcoin would work, including the use of a decentralized ledger, called the blockchain, to keep track of transactions. Coming on. The Genesis block, the first block in the Bitcoin blockchain, was mined by Satoshi on January 3, 2009. The Bitcoin network was formally launched with the creation of this block. The Genesis block contained a message, the time 03 slash Jan slash 2009 Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks, was derived from the London Times article. It demonstrates how Satoshi's invention was not only original but also a reaction to problems with the established financial system. A few days later, on January 12, 2009, the first Bitcoin transaction was recorded. Satoshi sent 10 bitcoins to Halfini, a programmer, and early bitcoin enthusiast. This simple transaction marked the beginning of a new era in digital currency. The first transaction was a significant milestone, as it proved that the bitcoin network could be used for real-world transactions, and it was all made possible by the revolutionary concept outlined in the white paper. In the months that followed, Satoshi became a regular participant in the Bitcoin Talk Forum, where he discussed the development of Bitcoin with other enthusiasts. These chats provide insight into Satoshi's early thoughts on the project and his plans for its future. Satoshi's participation in the forum allowed him to gather feedback and ideas from the community, which helped to shape the development of Bitcoin. It shows how Satoshi was not only a visionary but also a collaborator. Satoshi later on continued to work on the development of Bitcoin, releasing new versions of the software and addressing any issues that arose. 
He also corresponded with other developers via email, discussing various aspects of the project. His commitment to the project was evident in his tireless work to improve and refine the software. It shows how Satoshi's dedication to Bitcoin was not only evident but also ongoing. But one day suddenly, Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared from the public eye after posting on the Bitcoin Talk forum for the last time on December 13, 2010. While their true identity remains unknown, the impact of their creation on the world of technology and finance cannot be denied. As days pass there have been many contenders for the title of Satoshi Nakamoto, each with their own unique story. Let's dive into the top contenders who have claimed to be the mastermind behind the revolutionary invention. Dorian Nakamoto, a Japanese-American man whose name was mistakenly linked to Satoshi Nakamoto in a 2014 article by a news publication. The article suggested that Dorian Nakamoto was the real name behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, but Dorian Nakamoto denied the claim and stated that he had never heard of Bitcoin prior to the article. The main reason I'm here is to clear my name that I have nothing to do with Bitcoin, nothing to do with developing. It was later found that the journalist mistook the name and the individual had no connection with Bitcoin or Satoshi Nakamoto. Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist and businessman who claimed to be Satoshi Nakamoto in 2016, but his claim has been met with skepticism and controversy. Wright provided some technical proof to back up his claim, but many experts in the field have said that the evidence is not conclusive. It's evidence to me that he was almost breaking down slightly under the questioning. I didn't decide. I had people decide this matter for me. And they're making life difficult, not for me, but my friends, my family, my staff. Additionally, Wright's claim to be Satoshi Nakamoto is met with a number of inconsistencies and contradictions, making it difficult to fully verify his identity as the true creator of Bitcoin. Nick Sabo, a computer scientist and cryptographer who is considered to be one of the godfathers of smart contracts and digital currencies. He created the concept of smart contracts in the 1990s and has been involved in the development of several encryption and security systems. Sabo's writing and digital footprint have been compared to that of Satoshi Nakamoto, and some have pointed to similarities in language and coding style. Sabo, however, denies being Satoshi Nakamoto, and it is not clear if he is the real Satoshi. Hal Finney, a programmer and early Bitcoin developer who was one of the first people to receive Bitcoin from Satoshi Nakamoto. Finney was a known member of the cypherpunk community and had a technical background that would have allowed him to create Bitcoin. Finney passed away in 2014, but his involvement with Bitcoin and the possibility that he could have been Satoshi Nakamoto remains a topic of debate among experts. Adam Back, a computer scientist and cryptographer who has been involved in the development of several encryption and security systems. Back has been involved in the development of cryptographic technology for decades and is considered to be one of the leading experts in the field. Some have pointed to similarities in language and coding style between Back's writing and that of Satoshi Nakamoto, but Back denies being Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, I don't, uh, really don't know. Each of these so-called Satoshis generated a lot of media attention and sparked a lot of discussion within the crypto community. Some people believed them, while others were skeptical. Comment down, do you believe any one of them? But, can you guess how much Bitcoin does Satoshi holds? Let's find that out. Satoshi Wallet Holdings, which is believed to be a controlled pseudonym, has seen significant growth in value as the price of Bitcoin hit its all-time high in recent years. It is estimated that Satoshi holds around 1 million BTC, which is around 5% of the total supply of Bitcoin. With the price of BTC reaching $69,000 in September 2021, Satoshi's net worth was estimated to be around $69 billion, making him one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. Whoa, that's a hefty amount of money. It is uncertain whether or not Satoshi will maintain or increase his wealth as the future value of Bitcoin is highly dependent on market conditions and investor sentiment. Additionally, the action pseudonym could also impact the value of Satoshi's holdings. Furthermore, it's important to mention that it's uncertain if Satoshi is one person or a group of people. Hence it's difficult to predict what will happen to their wealth. 
Do you think Satoshi will become the richest person on the earth? If Bitcoin reaches a new all-time high of $114,000 per BTC, with all other things staying equal, Satoshi will be the richest person on the planet. But, it's amazing to think about the potential impact of this decentralized digital currency on the world of finance and beyond. Only time will tell how high the value of Bitcoin will go, but one thing is certain, it's a technology that is here to stay. So, what do you think? Will Satoshi reach the top spot as the richest person on earth if Bitcoin reaches new heights? Let us know in the comments below. If this video was valuable to you, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe for more great content like this. Thanks for watching.